Subhanallah, you didn't think that the angels would die too. I mean, after all, they are the most perfect and obedient slaves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They don't have choice like you and I do. But let me share this short story with you. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the ayah, Kullu nafsin dha'iqatul mawt, every soul will taste death. The angels thought they were excluded from this ayah. They told Allah, Lasna nufusan, bal innama nahnu arwahun tahira. We are not slay our souls. We are not souls. We are divine spirits. So they thought they were excluded from death. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala redefined what he meant by everything will die. He said, Kullu man alayha fan. Another ayah. Everything upon that earth will cease to exist. And the angels once again, they thought they were excluded. They said, Lasna fil ard, bal innama nahnu sukkan as sama. We are not on the earth. No, we are from of the dwellers of the sky. We are from the dwellers of the sky. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the third ayah. And in this ayah, he, he made it clear what he meant by everything will be destroyed. He said, Kulla shay'in halikun illa wajhu. Ya Allah, everything, every creation will be annihilated except the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And at this point, the angels realized that they too were included in that destruction. Then the malaika, the angels, they fell in prostration to Allah, saying, Allah is the one that is everlasting. Allah is the one that is everlasting. My dear brothers and sisters, the death, yes, humans will die. The jinns will die. And even the angels will die. 